Hey everybody, Jamie Starr here for the New World News Network. Uh, first off, I generally close the videos with it, but if you like my content, subscribe, support. There's links. You can go to thumpermusic.us uh, or just share my music. Greatly appreciate it. So anyway, today we're going to do a bit of a follow-up on some stuff I talked about yesterday. Um kind of about the the Carlin Borisenko type, but not about her, but about this contingency of libertarians that I've noticed um, that have come out of the woodwork over the, the Roe v. Wade issue. And, you know, these people claiming that this Roe v. Wade thing was going to mobilize the left, it hasn't as much as it's mobilized these lefties calling themselves libertarians that are actually like wolves in sheep's clothing. Um, and I put out a tweet, I'm sure we'll see it in this stream here, of I, I, I despise these people. These people are LARPing as something and have taken on this label and saying they're affiliated with a set of principles and stuff that they completely aren't like it's almost like these people had no political party and they imagine libertarians as being some sort of squishy midground when the libertarians are actually closer to the far right like almost at anarchist but all i've been seeing since this thing has come out is self-identified libertarians who are pro-government on a federal level. Like, I mean, that is just a... Like, if there's one level of government that I assumed all libertarians were against, it was the federal government. Because that completely overarches to the whole country. Like, it's such a conflict within the ideology that it's, it's really mind-blowing. Um, so we're just going to go into some of this conversation I was engaged in to really just sort of analyze the, the hoops these people are jumping through and their desperation and, again, how everything they're saying flies in the face of how they present themselves. So yesterday, you know, I made the point that let's – the central point I made – because I was basically going af uh, off of Short Fat Otaku's video, which I thought very succinctly puts this issue. And, um, you know, he sees it very well from both sides. I definitely recommend people check out that video. And I, his basic point of contention is, or what he puts as the basic point of contention is that in the 90s, Bill Clinton put forth this concept of safe, legal, and rare. And, and since then, the left has just tried to, you know, we want it up until third trimester. We want it taxpayer funded. We want, like, the rare aspect got thrown out the window. And so the right has responded by saying, okay, well, if you violated the compromise on safe, legal, and rare... We're going to violate the compromise and get rid of it altogether. Like, again, this is a very much just a back and forth, you know, kind of it should be expected. So I, I comment and I say, you know, less than 1% are due to the incest and, you know, incest and rape and all that. So this is, this is the start of it. And earlier today when I was arguing with the person, I forgot they were the same person that said this yesterday. So, and 1% of, you know, 660,000 is 6,600 per year. Plus the 1% is a low estimate. I've seen estimates. Yeah, I don't care. The point is, though, I would rather it just be that 1%. That would be rare to me. That you can't have it rare and then have people have these subjective -y type reasons of, well, I'm just having it because I don't think I have enough money to support it yet. So, again, my whole point is safe, legal, and rare is out the window. 
And their comeback to that, though, is just denial. I don't think anyone has abandoned safe, legal, and rare. So, right here, I should have been the red flag. This person isn't a libertarian. They're a lefty. They might not be for all the woke shit, but they're a liberal. They're not a libertarian. They just think because lib is in the start of both phrases that there's some sort of commonality here. To think that rare has been kept and they aren't constantly pushing for expansion. And here's the other here's the other point why I'm this this whole liberta libertarian shit's really bothering me is because they're basically saying I'm not on the left anymore and then just direct all their ire towards the right and are basically saying like the whole argument you'll see put forth is well if they allow this the right is just going to keep pushing and they're just going to keep pushing and they're just going to keep pushing for more and more and more and there's a complete willingness to turn a blind eye as we're seeing right here with this denial that the left has done that the left has already done that the left has already pushed for more and more and more and this is just the right responding because the initial compromise was violated so conservatives have been working here's another key line to pay attention to <clears throat> conservatives have been working really hard to keep people from having access to birth control that works so i just you know the thing everyone hates the most is when you just ask them can you back up what you're saying um so let's scroll up have you ever read why women have abortions? 75% say it's financial. Perhaps if black women weren't the lowest paid people in the country, they'd have more babies. Well, I mean, we are right in the lefty, lefty talking points right there. I mean, that is, can I not open this as a new tab? That is lefty talking point, race politics, identity politics, 101 right there. So... I've I said because I'm a forthcoming person and here's here's the other thing these people are sleazy slimy I mean the left you know when I see I saw uh Michael Knowles have on I don't know one of those lefty people uh not Sam Cedar uh not secular talk the other one though I mean there's they're all slime they're all very weaselly sleazy slimy characters who even if you try to like well we'll see like I, I give him a bit of my personal business and explain a story and then he tries to twist it around and try to tell me to do what I'm saying I should have done and it's like buddy you're so desperate you don't realize you are making my point for me like you are so caught up in this I need to be in conflict and think you're finger wagging at me and instead, I've already said, yeah, if circumstances were different, I would have done X, Y, and Z, and uh, I wouldn't have had this situation. And you're like, well, you're only in the situation because you didn't do X, Y, and Z. And it's like, okay, yeah, you go jerk yourself off in a corner some more. You're dumb as fuck. So anyway, he's asking, have I ever read about anything about a girl who's had an abortion? I'm like, I've gotten girls pregnant that have had abortions, buddy. What are you talking about? So... I point out, obviously, we are lucky enough to live in a time where bums have a quality of life that rivals royalty of the past, and you think that justifies killing babies rather than just closing your fucking legs. Your position and whole idea that you need to have a certain amount of money to have a baby, A, sidesteps my point about rare no longer being upheld. That, I mean, this guy just went right off the, right off the reservation. And then B, ignores the standards and quality of life people lived under throughout all of human history up until now like people don't realize that this whole oh well i can't afford it that's privilege that's privilege to think that the uh you know procreation and the continuation of our species hinges on a dollar amount is fucking crazy <laughs> so we have that then you know i asked do you have any 
proof of this they're making it harder so he start so they start sending me all of these and i'm looking at this and i'm like okay yeah this is a pro-life thing they uh no that's not what i'm going to this is a pro-life site i read through it you know look at some of the info and it's all just data um you know, I said, and this is just information informing people about the risks. I know women that were on the pill when they were younger who can't get pregnant now because of the side effects. They weren't told that when they got the pill. Nothing wrong with more information. Why would it, you know, what's what's the, the deal here? Don't think that qualifies as conservatives have been working really hard to restrict access. Just giving out information to people make their own choices. And here's where I already picked up on it. You must be one of these fake libertarians. So, then we get more. Use of contraceptives in marriage. Okay, so there's a, you know, focus on the family group that talks about contraceptions and their opinions on it. Again, and this is the whole whole weird thing where it's like, this person believes that just because there's a advocacy group that advocates for something, that it's going to be put into a law that God only knows how you would enforce it. Like, that's the other delusion going on here is these people are imagining we can't send Roe versus Wade back to the states because somehow that ends up with a police state regulating premarital sex. What? What? W way off the deep end. So here's another funny thing. And this is just where the desperation just kicks into high gear. He sends, or they send, maybe it's a chick. Probably is a chick. Um, contraception <laughs> provides zero risk against STDs. Well, duh. So they send this, and I'm just like, what are you doing? Like, you are embarrassing yourself at this rate. So we go down, and obviously I my response is this. Again, that's just more information, not a call to action or any action to prevent use, just recommending against it, fake-ass libertarian. Are you really trying to imply that birth controls do prevent STDs, or are you just really desperate? Do you know why my girlfriend got pregnant while on birth control? Because it does increase risky sexual behavior. You know why she had an abortion? Because she had been partying while pregnant. It does increase risky sexual behavior. So, then, of course... There is, so you're against people, against birth control access then. What? Where'd you pull that from? Interesting. And people have been having sex, well, forever. Long before birth control. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what they weren't thinking? They weren't thinking, I don't have enough money to start a family. Because at those points, you actually needed a family to survive. People had bigger families. Because you needed someone to help with all of the work out in the fields and farming for food and hunting and gathering. Yes, when people had less, they had bigger families because the family is what they had. This is this weird sort of warped materialistic worldview that these morons have that everything is tied to a dollar amount. So long before birth control, birth control doesn't increase sex. I would debate that. It just makes it less likely you'll have a baby you can't take care of. Well, what do you define as take care of? Again, this is all just money, 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 money. Fucking materialistic, disgusting, lefty shit. So I said birth control increases risky behavior. Every girl I was with not on the birth control, I took more responsibility. When they were on the pill, I took less. It's that simple. I should have been pulling out all the time, every time. It's simple. So again, I'm saying, hey, here's the role I played in this. If I had known certain things, I would have engaged differently. Again, we're talking more information. People make better informed decisions. And again, this person, for some reason, though, when they were pointing to all of these advocacy groups, seems to have an issue even just with people having more information. Libertarian, though, mind you. So, in here we can see, um, no, I never claimed that. I just said the illusion of safety leads to risky behavior. Why are you so desperate for conflict? 
So, let's go back here. And we can see I'm getting more notifications, so who knows? Maybe we'll live time some of this. So then they start sending these articles. Missouri GOP likely to ban on birth control coverage in Medicaid and so on and so forth. Uh, Republican AG criticized 1965 ruling against contraceptive ban. And if you really dig into the details, they're really just talking about states' rights versus federal government issues. It's not as, like, this person just saw the headlines and started sending shit. Because as I point out to them, if you read these articles, they're not what you're presenting them to be. So here's where I said, seriously, there's nothing I despise more than these former lefties wannabe libertarians who think that libertarians are a middle position. It's not. It's the actual far right that wants as little government as possible. But these types want federal government. And shout out to this person for saying this tweet deserves to be amplified. Um, so then I asked them, I said, you're sending me all of these things about federally funding all of this shit. How are you a libertarian? I don't know any libertarians that are for federal government. Let's see. I never met a libertarian that thinks the government taxpayers should be funding anything on the federal level, let alone birth control. Is that what makes you the libertarian unicorn? Reasonable question, because nothing you're saying jives with libertarian as far as I see it. I don't believe it should be federally funded either. Okay, so you agree with these articles that are Republicans wanting to ban contraceptives, quote unquote, then. But you didn't read the articles you sent me. Um, and I don't hear, listen to this little circle here. And I don't think that Medicaid should be federally funded. That said, to remove birth control from the Medicaid plan just creates more people on Medicaid. No, we should do away with it altogether. How can you have more people on something that we shouldn't have in the first place? This is, again, this whole sort of like, well, I want to get rid of it, but because we have it, we need to keep it. And it, none of it, it's, it's internally inconsistent. So, and I asked, why would you quit, care when your politics imply you think Medicaid should be done with completely? Then stop talking, uh, then stop sending articles you aren't reading because that's what being talked about, not outright bans. So we got all that. And again, I hate the way Twitter kind of disperses everything because it makes it so... I'm not seeing everything. So you're against birth control access then. Interesting. And people, yeah, we already covered that. Um, birth control pills don't cause abortions. They prevent them. If you're all diseased, then that's your problem, not mine. Coming from the person who sent an article about what? About contraceptives provide zero risk against STDs. So what, what was it? Why'd you send me that? Why'd you, why'd you send me that if you're, like, again, desperately flailing and all this other shit? And I said that. Yo, I never said that. You're the person that sent an article about the pill and STDs like it was relevant whatsoever. Why are you so desperate for conflict? The article was a pro-life page that causes, that says birth control causes abortion. Either you, and I mean, obviously, there are people that be believe life begins at conception, and uh, yeah, there are people that have this opinion. So I say, either you're for access to birth control or you aren't. First off, it's not that black and white. That's the whole problem here that this moron wants to see past. I'm for people going to 7 Eleven and buying their ass a pack of condoms. I'm for that. I'm not for government involvement in birth control i'm not for a federal eugenics system that is regulating people's reproduction i don't want any regulations on it whatsoever if a state wants to ban it let them ban it if new york wants to keep it let them keep it now in new york in particular my issue with new york as i've stated before is the entire state is red except for like the city albany and a handful of other places it's a fucking red state that's governed by a handful of blue cities. So, either you're for it or against. It's all or nothing. Um, Let's see. Was it readily available? And this just, here's just, again, desperate. You didn't listen to what I said. You're, you're so desperate. You have completely forgot how birth control works. 
either your four axis or not? Was it your readily available access to birth control that made you knock up your girlfriend? I think not. It was just your lack of discipline. So, all right, here's where I, here's where I take issue. And this is where it shows how the level of scumbaggery that these schmucks engage in. Because they will all talk about these hypothetical abortions for, oh, the poor people, the poor black women who aren't getting paid enough and need to have an abortion just so they can keep their necks above water. And then when you come and say, well, I've been personally affected by this, here's what happened to me. It's, oh, well, it was just your lack of discipline. You're out there knocking people up, this and that. Sympathetic when it's hypothetical, scumbag when it's personal. That's the slime these people are. So, I respond, for the record, I'm for birth control. I think women should know about the potential side effects regarding chemical ones. I'm against abortion. I don't care what a pro-life page says. It's just their opinion. And here's the other few little remarks in here, because, again, I don't think Twitter is showing it. Um, I said, um, buddy... Girls are the ones that take the pill or forget to take it. So they've completely forgotten that whole thing that my lack of discipline, birth control, the girls are the ones that take birth control. What are you talking about? And then they even ask at one point, well, did you wear a condom? What fucking fantasy land are you in that girls are on the pill and then their boyfriends decide to wear a condom as well? No. But you've, you want to completely ignore the point I made about the risky sexual behavior thing. So this is, again, this just la-la land shit. So, yes, you are for birth control. The people who back the Supreme Court nominees are not. And the way in which Roe was attacked indicates that birth control will be next. This must be some of the new shit that's fucking... I'm just going to respond to this. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, you're for it. Ba ba ba. So here we go. Again, the discussion wasn't about the merits of sex. It was about conservatives opposing birth control. And the right to life movement opposes birth control. Also, stop knocking up your girlfriends. You seem to be part of the problem. So again, it's... It's all fine and dandy, and it's, oh, the poor people, we have to keep it for them, we have to have sympathy for them, and then when you're one of them directly, it's, you're a problem, it's your fault, you shouldn't have even needed this. They, they come with the ire that they are claiming the right wing has, which is why they want to do away with this, and meanwhile, will try to shame and bully someone when they've been in a position where... They've had to have one, which which I think I might as well just add in here. You know, I'm still laughing over your defense of abortion in general. And then the fact that you shame and bully people who have had to have them you are the embodiment of the ire you think the right has towards the issue we'll just say that little hot take in there um and again if i'm when i'm opening these full screen i hope it's really not fucking everything up but i think it actually is because the way i have this all set up so, I seem to be part of the problem. After I already admitted, hey, if things were different, I would have been responsible, you know, this and that. So, I say, funny, I talk about one experience I had with one girlfriend, my points, and you think you can twist it in some sort of dig. You're a sad person. You don't need to tell me what I've said I've done, moron. You're the one who wants to outlaw abortion and refuses to see the next step is banning birth control, even while you have premarital sex. It's not my fault you live in a fantasy land. To which I respond, um, I'm an anarchist, I prefer all laws be local, and the world would be a better place if there was less premarital sex, but how in fact would that be enforced? I mean, thinking that is possible is the fantasy. Um, 
So, and I also said, no, it was about the left abandoning safe, legal, and rare, specifically rare. You're the one that immediately went off the rails about the Republicans. Again, really odd for a libertarian to have so much ire for the right when libertarians are far right. So let's see. There was there were a few other ones in here where uh you know I point out girls are the ones that take the pill, not guys. So to think it's my irresponsibility. You know, and here's the other thing. I was gonna bring this up when I when they point out the oh well it's six thousand six hundred of them. Okay, so if we could have six thousand six hundred of them out of eight hundred and sixty-two or uh 862,320 whatever like yeah let's go with that then that that would bring it back to rare um so the article's a pro life page it says it wasn't readily available uh that had you knock up your girlfriend no i think it's just my lack of discipline i think we cover that i'm the one that wants to outlaw things blah 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 yeah i want to do away with all laws I don't want to outlaw anything. I want to do away with laws and regulations. Um, let's see. Their opinion will be law soon. Yes, you are for birth control. The people who back the Supreme Court, because I'm a woman and I will die if my birth control fails. I don't want to die and leave my husband and two children to fend for themselves. Okay. So, uh, okay. Like, I, I will die if my birth control fails. I, I don't understand that. Uh-uh. Did you have two children if you need birth control to survive? I mean, it did, what? What sort of insanity? Besides, this will end women's ability to be financially independent of a man that the real end goal <laughs> you live in a far leftist fever dream of a 1990s caricature of republicans Very much like the the '90s satanic panic. <laughs> I mean, now it's just, now it's just funny. And I I did say I said, why don't we stop talking about me? Why don't we talk about you for a bit? So my stance changed because of my experience besides her body her choice so anyway i just want to i guess you know this i'm not gonna process most of this because it's still it's insanity it's fucking insanity but this is the problem and maybe it's a specifically a female issue now i'm wondering where you have these squishy lefty females who don't want to be part of the woke shit, so they think libertarian is this midground that they can fucking feminize. You know, I was watching an interesting thing with Michael Malice and Sydney Watson last night, where Sydney is talking about how she's she's very bothered by right wingers saying if we just removed women's rights to vote, things wouldn't be like this and everything else, and. Then her and Michael both make the case for why women shouldn't vote. And it very much falls in line with this, where it's just complete rationality. And Cindy even, or Sydney, I'm sorry if I've been mispronouncing this whole time, Sydney Watson, she even mentioned she's like an introvert and all this other stuff. And I think she really just doesn't understand how the majority of women are. And if she makes that sacrifice of giving up her right to vote, how her she could have everything she wants like and it's that simple like if we just stop all of them and you just recognize that you're special and you're an exception to the rule then that's it but sydney needs to realize like 
this is one of those things where it's like within these groups there are these odd off instances and you don't want to create rules that treat the whole as if they are all the odd off instance because they're not so that's all i want to say here really keep an eye out for these libertarians because they're not what they claim to be and then when you really get to talking to them it's all lefty talking points all of it so if you enjoy the channel you enjoy my work enjoy my music that's my love and my passion and uh have a good one everyone